have the pleasure of introducing uh, my dear friend and colleague, Dr. Peter Hotez. Uh, Dr. Hotez is someone that I have known since working at Texas Children's Hospital and Baylor Co College of Medicine. Back in the time when we, my whole family, lived in Houston, uh, a place that we love and is near and dear to our hearts. Um, but it's really my pleasure and honor to be able to chat with Dr. Hotez today. Um, he is a professor of pediatrics and molecular virology. He's Dean of the National School of Tropical Medicine, um, and he's Chair in Tropical Pediatrics and Co-Director um, of the Center for Vaccine Development at Texas Children's Hospital and Baylor College of Medicine. Um, he is right now leading the fight to help combat COVID-19, creating vaccines and helping to spread awareness uh, during this pandemic for uh, science and medicine. So thank you, Dr. Hotez, for being with, with us today. Um, it's and a, then we also—it's great to—it's great to see you, Dr. Arnold, and uh, we do miss you here at Texas Children's in Houston, and uh, welcome you back anytime. <gasps> Thank you so much for that. That means a lot. I miss everybody in Texas. Trust me, it's—it's uh, it's, you know bittersweet. Um, but I also have two, uh, you know, former patients of Texas Children's Hospital, and my two kids, uh, William and Zoe. Do you guys want to say hello? Hello. Hi, guys. Hi. Good to see you again. It's been a long time. It's been a long, long time. We are excited to, um, you know, essentially have a moment to have the kids ask you questions about the COVID-19 vaccine that has now come out um, for kids under the age of 12 or from 5 to 11. And I am so excited because we have been waiting a very long time to get this vaccine for our kids and for so many kids out there. So um, I'm really going to turn it over to Will and Zoe uh, to ask you some questions, if that's okay, Dr. Hotez. I think that would be great. Happy to answer questions. Go ahead and fire away. <laughs> All right, guys. Who would like to go first? All right. Will it is. My first question is, how long will it end? How 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 long will the uh, pandemic Vaccine. go, or how long will the? Both. Well, the I, you know, unfortunately, I don't think it's going to end right away. Um, the number of cases is going down, um, no question about it. But it doesn't seem to be going down fast enough, and I'm worried that we could see another big wave of COVID as we head into the winter. So that's what I'm kind of holding my breath about because. This time last year, it started going down and everyone thought we were out of it. And I knew we weren't. And then we had that terrible winter wave. So I am concerned about it. But, you know, getting the vaccine is clearly the way to go. It's the best way to ensure that you won't go to the hospital. You won't get very sick with COVID-19. And um, eventually, I think if enough people get vaccinated, including kids, I think we could finally halt transmission of COVID-19 and stop this terrible epidemic in the United States and hopefully get everybody vaccinated in the world. And Mike, how did this COVID start? How did it start? Well, you know, this is now our third major uh, coronavirus pandemic in the last 20 years. So we had the first one was came out of China, southern China in 2002, 2003. That was known as SARS or severe acute respiratory syndrome. And then the second one came out of the Middle East, out of Saudi Arabia in 2012. That was known as Middle Eastern respiratory syndrome. So this is the third one. And it seems to originate from bats. So bats are the host species for lots of serious viruses, not only coronaviruses, but also things like Ebola and Nipah virus. And so probably it started in central China with contact between people and bats or maybe with another animal in between. So it's it, it it belongs to a certain class of disease called zoonoses. These are diseases that are transmitted from animals to people. And, and uh, there are other serious viruses that do that as well. How strong is the vaccine? I think the vaccine is really good. It looks like it's over 90. If you get the two doses, it looks like it's over 90% protective. So that's about as good as what we have. I mean, the best vaccine that we have is the measles vaccine, 
that you already got, and that's a great vaccine. This is looking like it's almost as good. After the vaccine, can you get sick? Well, after you get the, with just the first dose of the vaccine, you may be still somewhat susceptible to COVID-19 if there's a lot of virus circulating. But after you get the second dose, uh, the likelihood that you're going to get sick is very small. So it's not perfect, but it's looking pretty good. So when right now, almost all of the people in the United States who are hospitalized from COVID-19 um, are, are unvaccinated, have not gotten the vaccine. So the best way you can ensure of your parents not going to the hospital or you not going to the hospital is get those two doses of the vaccine. Okay. Any more? Uh, when, when, are there any going to be any pet vaccines? Any what vaccines? Animal vaccines. Animal vaccines. Well, that's a good question because now we're learning that maybe deer can get COVID and and maybe even some domestic animals. So down the line, there might be. Um, but right now, it looks like it's people who get the sickest from this. So, like, and it's very interesting. For instance, bats, they can get the virus, but they don't seem to get sick from it. So they're especially adapted, so they don't seem to get sick. But that's why they can carry it, so they can serve as carriers of the virus. But there could be animal vaccines down the line. Okay. I think Zoe's got a question. Zoe's turn. So, I think you're still on mute. Here you go. So, can fish also get vaccines too, like underwater animals? Uh, that's a good question. Can fish get COVID-19? I don't think anyone's ever looked. Um, I don't think so. I think fish are so different from people. Um, but so, no, I don't think COVID is going to be a big problem in uh, fish, although people can get diseases from uncooked fish, but I don't think it's going to work the other way around. Also, can um, um, babies get vaccines like, like that certain age? Like, is it well, about the age when they get the vaccine? Or is it about, like, how young they are? That's a good question. So right now, um, the vaccines are only being given to kids who are age five and older. Um, but now we're looking at the possibility of, make, of giving vaccines to even younger children, maybe even infants. But it's probably going to be until the end of the year before um, before we have those studies to know whether we can vaccinate infants. But I'll tell you what you can do now is if you're pregnant and you have a baby in your tummy and you get the vaccine, those antibodies can actually help the, the baby when it's born. Like so, gives the baby already the vaccine. In a sense, yeah. So the baby already will have antibodies at least for the few first months of its life. So good point. Oh, and is there going to be a fourth vaccine? A fourth vaccine? You mean a fourth dose of the vaccine? Because I'm sure uh, I heard it on the news. Well, I, I actually don't think so, at least not right away. So at least for the kids, it'll be two doses. And I think down the line, maybe a year from now, you might need a third dose. I think that's a possibility. But then I don't think we're going to need to give a fourth dose. I think once you get the three doses of the mRNA vaccine, the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine, I think that it'll hold up for a period of a few years. Mm -hmm. I may be wrong, but I don't think I don't think we're going to need to get a annual shot, for instance, like you get with the flu vaccine, which requires you to get vaccinated every mm -hmm. year. I don't think that'll be the case with COVID-19. Yeah. And just as you know, everyone, it does not hurt when you get your vaccine. It does hurt a little, but it's very important to get your vaccine. Oh, yes, yeah, you, you said that better than I ever better than I could ever say it. And by the way, the needle for the kids vaccine is pretty tiny, isn't it? It's not it's not big like the adult vaccine. So no reason to be scared and it doesn't hurt much at all. I remember that both kids were asking me, Dr. Hotez, about how long until they can go to either Disney World or Universal Studios after they get their vaccine. So maybe one of them wants to know that. 
Well, I think, you know, once um, you get your two doses, within a week or two after that, I think it'll be safe to do that. And and that means mom and dad, of course, have to be fully vaccinated, probably with three doses uh, as well. And so if the whole family's fully vaccinated, then definitely go have a good time in Disney World. Although I'm still recommending that if you go in, in the indoor exhibits, you still may want to wear a mask if there's a lot of virus transmission going on just to be safe. But outdoors, I think you can go without a mask. That's a really good point, Dr. Hotez, because Will and I were just talking earlier today about, you know, how long he'd need to wear a mask, um, you know, after he's vaccinated. Uh, and so it sounds like we may need to still wear it indoors for a little bit of time. Yeah, and I'm hoping once the transmission really slows down, um, maybe next year, uh, maybe by the spring, uh, we'll see how this winter goes. And if everybody's fully vaccinated, the country, we, we do a better job vaccinating everybody, then we can get back to something that looks pretty normal. It's pretty normal now. It's not nearly as bad as it was, right? And so it's only going to get better with each passing month. That's really great. All right. Well, Will, Zoe, do you guys have any other questions for Dr. Hotez? No. Zoe has one. Okay, wait for daddy to unmute you, okay? He's gonna unmute. Uh, another word is, are we also going to not get to wear a mask when we like go out in public or like see our family members? Yeah, well, provided everybody's vaccinated and it's a small group inside your home, then yeah, you can. So if you wanna visit family, and I think that's a great question. and. And as I say, it's as more and more people get vaccinated in, in the United States and as transmission starts to decline, things are going to start looking pretty normal. For instance, you know, we're for Thanksgiving, we're just having a few people over and and hoping if everyone is vaccinated, maybe we hey. won't need to even wear a mask in, indoors for Thanksgiving, but it's a small group, not a big group. And if you're not vaccinated, maybe instead you can like call your whole family member and like put the Zoom on the dinner table and then you can eat while you're with your family, but on Zoom, you could do yeah, that. Yeah, that's too. right. If you don't get vaccinated, then then you actually have to go inside the computer and become Zoom person. That's right. And also listen to Joe Biden. He's like, because if you always wear your mask, even though if you have the vaccine and stay socialized and also be safe, then you will not get the coronavirus. I think you're going to become a pretty good uh, public health physician, uh, just like your mom. And, uh, and we're looking forward to that. So uh, you'll have to pick out your medical school pretty soon, though. <laughs> Uh, you muted. Dr. Zoe. Dr. Zoe. Yep. Dr. She's, Zoe. It's got a it's got a good ring to it. It does. It does. You like that, Zoe? Uh, the, um, oh now she's muted. Can you unmute it's Dr. Biologic Go Zoe. Love it. I love it. Well, maybe you'll become a, uh, also become a scientist, also a, a physician scientist, and you can develop and make all sorts of cures, and maybe even make a vaccine yourself, just like we do. I might become president. That's, that's good, too. It's, um, although I hear the job is overrated, but, but I think it's, 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 not, it's not a bad aspirational goal. Love it. Uh, love it. Love it. Wow. Well, Will and Zoe, if you guys don't have any other questions, I really thank you both for participating today and asking Dr. Hotez all those good questions. I think your questions are really going to help a lot of kids out there. That's our goal. I think you're absolutely right. I totally agree. It's great, right. great seeing you and look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Hotez. Thank you. Yeah.